If you take a look at the evolution of key milestones in movie animation and visual effects, there are certain movies that stand out as raising the bar. You know, Toy Story and Jurassic Park, of course, in their day were key milestones. Titanic, uh, Avatar, um, you know, the, and the more recent movies we see, like you know, Avengers and Martian, all of those, you know, have really brought visual effects to the point where it's impossible to distinguish um, live action from what is artificial. And that evolution, which has involved an increase in computing of many magnitudes, has been an amazing trend over this period. An example of the evolution in 3D computer graphics is Toy Story. Uh, that original movie, uh, 24 frames a second, needed frames that would take six, seven, eight, nine hours each to render. Now those same frames could be done in real time. Um, now of course, a modern movie has frames that are far more sophisticated in their visual complexity than a Toy Story frame where most of the images are really shaded plastic basic textures and materials, there's no fur, there's no cloth, water or any of those volumetric effects either, but that is indicative of the huge magnitude uh, in terms of performance increases that have occurred over this period of time. One of the biggest trends in the evolution of digital content creation tools over the past 15 years has been the increasing fragmentation of functionality into more and more applications that are specialised in doing one thing and doing it very well. You know, it could be rendering, it could be fur or water or hair or crowd simulation. This presents a challenge to the more established monolithic applications like Maya and 3D Max because they can't do everything well and that's not to say there is not a space for those applications in various contained contexts, there absolutely is. But the reality is, is that if you want to specialize in a certain area of content creation, then you're going to go to an application that focuses on that area. Your challenge is going to be how do you move that data between different applications. So in parallel, another trend has been that we've seen the evolution of interchange standards that make the transportation of that data between applications far more accessible. We're talking about standards like OpenEXR or FBX or Alembic, USD. Um, and it's interesting that that has been driven very much by the studios, not by the vendors. In production, the bottom line is the cost of that production. It's all about economics. SmartSuit Pro combines not only cost-effective motion capture, but it also provides quality motion capture. That combination is going to prove irresistible to large numbers of studios and content creators. SmartSuit Pro is democratizing motion capture. Not only is that an amazingly cost-effective and personal solution for the motion capture industry we know, but it is also opening up this technology to millions of creators who have never before been able to afford access to human motion capture. It's a very individual solution. And that individualism is also important in its capacity and potential to be a capture solution on the evolving social media platforms. For example, you could capture your motion, apply it to your avatar and interact with others who are also capturing motion in the same way. In that sense, Rococo is really driving a disruption in human body motion that will benefit huge numbers of users across many, many industries.